We're talking free hubs in today's maintenance video. That's the part of your rear wheel which allows you to stop pedaling, allows your wheel to continue turning, and it's also the part that makes that slightly annoying buzzing sound. Stealthy. You've got really loud ones, you've got middle of the road ones, and you've also got ones which are far more quiet, unobtrusive, and polite. But is it possible to change how much noise your free hub makes? It's a question I was asked just last week, and I thought, you know what? Let's see what's possible. I'll keep this as simple as I can. The reason your free hub makes a noise is the small teeth or pulls on the free hub body engaging and disengaging with the corresponding teeth machined into the hub. Some free hubs use a stronger spring, some free hubs use a softer spring. A stronger spring is going to make more noise and a softer spring is going to make less noise. Then we have the type of lubrication used in the free hub to reduce the friction on your components. Some wheels will be fitted with a thicker grease and some wheels will be fitted with a thinner oil. Now, if you use a thick grease to lubricate the free hub, it's gonna make it a little bit quieter. And if you use a thin oil, it's gonna make it a little bit noisier. Now, if you're the type of person that's bothered by the noise that your free hub makes, well, good on you for being someone that pays attention to the noises of your bike. And you're now one step closer to being a bike nerd, much like myself and Ollie. As our wheels are used, over time, the lubrication inside the free hub body is going to start to dry up and perhaps be washed out. And replacing it is a kind of maintenance task you should do perhaps every year in line with a bigger service on your bike. Now, different wheels and different manufacturers are going to recommend different lubrications to be used in your free hub body. But I want to see if by changing what lubrication we use, we can alter the noise made from our free hub body. Now, don't go going crazy here and thinking, right, I'm just going to pack it with the thickest marine grease I can possibly find, make it super quiet and it will last forever. Because if you do that, the free hub body isn't going to work correctly and you'll maybe be stuck pedaling and quite literally going nowhere. Oh, and to see how much difference there is in the noise, I'm going to use an app on my phone that uses the microphone to give me a decibel reading of the noise from my free hub. I should probably see how noisy this thing is before we do anything to it. So, I've got the phone on the side. Let's spin it up. Seventy-five point two is our max reading. Okay, remember that number. So I've got our free hub removed off of my zip wheels. Super easy to remove it off of those. You just slide it straight off. Now. If the wheels that you're using, it's not quite as easy to remove the free hub, chances are you're gonna to need to use some hex wrenches or a couple of cone spanners. And if you're unsure how to remove your free hub, well, we've got a separate video detailing just that. So first things first, we're gonna to need to get this free hub body cleaned up. And to do that, I'm gonna use some disc brake cleaner and a rag, because it does actually look like it needs a good clean. Perfect time, really. So to clean the pulls on the free hub body, I'm going to use aerosol disc brake cleaner. The advantage of using this is that you can blast it in, it's going to work its way in and drive out all of the old grease and bits of dirt and grime, but also it's going to evaporate and make the sort of cleanup process a little bit easier. Spray it in, try not to blast it directly into the free hub body bearings, and then take your cloth, work your way around, wiping all the loose bits off. While we're at this stage of the process as well, it's also good, uh, good practice to check the bearings in the free hub body, both the inner and the outer. And we can check the, the bearings inside the hub as well to make sure they're smooth and oh, lovely. First up, I'm going to apply a thin oil onto the pools of the free hub body. I'm going to use this. It's just a thin chain oil. Now, Zip actually recommend using a thinner oil on the pulls of their hub bodies because they have a lighter, softer action spring. So I'm going to apply one drop to each of the pivot points of the pulls. And then go all the way back around again with a second drop just to make sure none of the areas are left dry and unlubricated. As I put it back onto the wheel, and start to rotate it because the oil is thin it's going to work its way around everywhere as well to reinstall the free hub body onto our wheel super simple on these wheels slide it over the 
main part of the axle, rotate it whilst gently pushing back, he says. There you go, gently pushing back in into place. Now, before I see how loud or quiet the Free Hub now is. If you like the idea of this video and you're into bike tech and you want to find out more and you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to GCN Tech and click on that bell icon to turn on your notifications. Right, thin oil in our Free Hub body, ready to spin it up. So let's reset our decibel meter. Away we go. Sixty nine point three, less, less noise. Fantastic. Right. Next thing we need to do is get the free our body off, clean it up, repeat the process we've just done, and then put the thick grease in. Let's do it. Right, thick grease, final little test now. I'm gonna reset the phone app and spin this thing up. Oh, well, slight variation, but I gotta say, it's pretty much in line with the thinner oil and the difference between the original one, the thin oil and the thick grease, we're talking in the region of a few decibels here and there. So I guess the answer is yes, you can change the noise of your free hub ever so slightly, but it isn't gonna make a huge difference. But I think it's important to note not to stray too far away from the type of lubrication recommended by the wheel set manufacturer that you're using. And if you do use a thinner oil, you're gonna to have to service and clean your free hub and re-lubricate it far more often than a slightly thicker grease. Well, there you have it. I'm glad we covered that off. And why not let me know in the comments section down below whether you like a noisy one or a quiet one. Your free hub body, that is. Anyway, right, for more maintenance videos, remember to subscribe to GCN Tech, and I'll see you next time.